is our uh, senior novice, 189 pounders, Johnny. We are from Kelowna's uh, gym in the blue corner, and in the red is Henry Hernandez for Punch Out. Hernandez and Kelowna? Uh, Hernandez versus Samira from Kelowna. Oh. Okay, looking at the two guys standing face to face, it looks like they're about the same size and build. So uh, let's see what we get here. Round one action. Senior novice is 189 pounds. And our red jersey guy is the southpaw. Yeah, you got a lefty in the ring. Hernandez uh, fighting out of a southpaw stance. Starting out a little faster. He's advancing on his opponent, yeah. I think oh, it was a nice straight left hand. Well, his opponent turned him around. And now his opponent has got his back to the rope. Hernandez starting kind of quick and, and, and kind of jumping on Samira. But Samira kind of showing a little bit of poise. He didn't start the engine up right away. He's sort of, you know, rolled with a few of those shots. And now he's coming back to the offensive zone. After the quick start from Hernandez, it's been Samira now the last 30 seconds of this round. Got a feeling by looking at both of these guys, and you see it a lot in the senior novice division. They've had less than 10 fights. It doesn't matter if they're over 20 or not. They're, they're not really experienced at, at, at pacing themselves properly and gauging what they have as far as fuel in the tank. And both these guys. I'm starting to see him breathe a little heavy, and it's just the first round. So, well, you think they'd know uh, how to uh, pursue themselves in practice, but practice is not the same thing as the actual no, fight. No, no. Because the adrenaline yeah. is flowing in the actual fight, and that'll take it out of you. Especially if you're a senior novice, because you have less than yeah, 10 fights. Right. And, and after that, you, you learn to adapt a little bit. Nice straight left hand. Samira punctuate that, uh, that first round. Okay. Two in a uh, silver glove. All right, I'll, yeah. go, I'll, I'll do it. Okay, Over here. Take him in the sign. Uh, ben, ben, can you come down? We need Ben with the camera. Oh, Ben's right there. Hang on. Round, round two. And Hernandez came out smoking. Where do we interview Huh? Yeah. All right, where do we go? Just on the action. Things start to heat up a little bit. Hernandez right the southpaw. Starting to walk Samira down a little bit. Samira looks like he's taking a little bit of a breather here. What they're doing here is they're kind of fighting in spurts. Uh, like I had said earlier, these are senior novices. They have less than 10 fights. Chances are pacing themselves is, uh, especially in the finals of the Golden Gloves. You got a full house here tonight at the Cicero uh, Stadium. And, uh, you know, sometimes you tend to empty the fuel tank a little earlier than you want to. That being said, these guys are both gutsy. Christmas day. Mexican? There's a nice little flurry here. He's closing the round the way you should. What's your weight? 147. Junior novice? Junior novice. That's the end of round two. Oh, 
parts. Yeah. Yeah. Part this uh, yeah. He was today. prepared. He was ready. Oh, oh man, he tried I very to hard. In the fashion that I would have liked to, but okay, I'm wired up. I got to yeah. do this here. Well, you know, you came here and you're willing to do it, so we can only assume Spirit that you would do it anyway. And how many bouts do you have? Very close fight here tonight. We're going to be digging. For both these get better. They need this. Get some more titles. All right, two and two, which means oh, he doesn't come into the ring thinking he's got an advantage yeah, there, but he's up. willing to do what he has to do. At two and two, he now feels you've got a lot to learn. Locked right? up in the middle of the ring. And you're going to continue boxing after the Golden Gold here? Yes, sir. I'm going to continue to whenever, whenever my body says, you know what, it's time to go, but I'm pushing all the way to the end. How old are you? I still stand there. And where do you go to high school? Is. San High School, Chicago. San High School? Yeah. And where do you train? I train on the Yola Park, Chicago Park District. Miss, did you do a lot of sparring before? Oh yeah, I, I trained my ass out to do it, do the language. Yeah. I'm looking at these two guys, and you know, it's, 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 I'm looking at the body language, I'm looking at their faces, and it looks like Hernandez is in better shape, just as I said. Okay, so you're not going to wait long before you're going to fighting again, are you? I'm, I'm in shape. Snapping the head back of Hernandez. Make up for habits in that. All right, well, now the we'll see the our first winner that we're talking about. Hernandez with the counter. Counter jab by Hernandez. Thanks, Shotty. Thank you. Good looks to like see you. Wants I fought on his show July 4th, 1987 right in North Riverside. Okay, that's the first one. Samir yup. I fought, and oh, sees man. That. I fought Cortez Box, man. Yeah, well, twice. It's, it's something, something like this is what you always remember. You know oh, what I mean? I'll never forget it. How do you mean? Spoke highly of you. Oh, Final yeah. second. I just thought. Oh, yeah. Do you ever see him? Oh, these guys. These guys see the performance. Yeah, very young this is what the senior now is right. all about. I got his job, basically. Really? Two years Let's later, see what the judges I didn't, like, think. step just, forward time for both boxers. They came up in my class. So, we both are. Yeah. 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 Our winner by split decision in 2022 should have the Golden Gloves champion. Out of the blue court. All right, another champion. Here we are, Omar Samira. And what weight division have you just conquered? 189, cruiserweight, senior novice. Senior novice. Yes, how old are you? I am 21. And how many fights have you had? This would be my fourth uh, amateur fight. Uh, it's, been, it's been really an up and down hill, you know, with the fights, but thankfully we were able to win this. Do you want to continue boxing? Oh, of course. This is my dream. Uh, how long have you been looking at boxing before you started? Uh, I started boxing when I was 16. I was uh, 270 pounds guy, you know, I wanted to do it as a weight loss journey, but I eventually ended up being good at it, so I kept on going with it. How'd you do tonight? I think I could have done better. Honestly, I it's a split decision. I wanted a unanimous or a knockout, but you know, you shoot for the moon, you might get a couple of stars. Well, you're a determined guy. What do you do outside the ring? I go to UIC. I study digital marketing. I live on my own. I work. Uh, I've, I've only been back in the U.S. officially for four years. And you're from where? I'm uh, Palestinian. I was raised in Jordan. In Jordan? That's a nice country. It is. They, they're not angry people, the Jordanians, are they? No, they're not. We're, very, we're the most peaceful country in the Middle East so far. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was in Lebanon with Saddam Hussein, okay. with the president of Lebanon. And uh, part of Lebanon was Syrian because France took part of Syria and made it into Lebanon. Right. Too bad we couldn't have the Syrians and the Lebanese be in the boxing match and the winner gets the country. But uh, we got some uh, future for you, both in and outside the ring. Yes, sir. Hopefully a long, long future. I don't see myself stopping boxing for a very long time. Maybe turn pro? One day. You never know. Anything can happen. Okay, but you got ambition. All right. <laughs> 